At the Northeast Astronomy Forum this past weekend uh, that I attended, ZWO unveiled a whole slew of new uh, instruments and equipment. Of particular interest to me was the ZO C-Star S50, the latest in the electronically assisted astronomy products. Uh, it features auto stacking, auto focus, and uh, it is supposed to be a new entry level piece of equipment. Today I set out to compare, just on paper, the specifications of the Dwarf 2, which I already own and have been uh, toying with for the past several weeks, uh, to the specifications of the Zoo uh, C Star S50. Starting with the price, uh, they are very comparable, uh, just under $400. However, the C Star S50 uh, weighs about uh, two and a half times the weight of the Dwarf 2 and is significantly bigger, uh, about uh, 10 inches, 257 millimeters, versus the five or six inches of the Dwarf 2. So it is a slightly uh, more substantial or more substantive device. Both of them have an alt as mount and uh, both offer autofocus and go-to features. Uh, the zoo claims to have a much more extensive catalog of the skies that you can use and both offer Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. So on the surface, the two products are very comparable. Let's get into the optics. Uh, this is where uh, they become very, very different. The aperture of the Dwarf 2 is just under an inch, and uh, that of the Sea Star is uh, about, uh, it's twice that. Uh, they have uh, roughly the same F number, which gives us a focal length of 250 millimeters uh, for the C star versus the 100 millimeter focal length for the Dwarf 2. And uh, the field of view is dramatically different. The field of view of the C star is very comparable to that of Stellina, uh, just over a degree uh, times uh, three quarters of a degree. The field of view of the Dwarf 2 is uh, more than twice that. It is three degrees by 1.7 degrees. Uh, note that the Dwarf 2 has two lenses and two sensors, one of them with a very wide field of view, about 50 degrees, and the other one, the one used truly as a telescope, uh, three degrees. That feature alone I'm going to miss on the C-Star because it allows me to manually identify targets and just go to them or double click on them. Uh, both use Sony sensors, the 415 versus the 462. Uh, again, this is where uh, there is a dramatic difference. Dwarf 2 has an 8 megapixel sensor whereas the C-Star has a 2 megapixel sensor, uh, 3840 by 2160 pixels versus 1920 by 1080. And uh, because of that, the pixel size is twice as big on the C-Star than it is on the Dwarf 2. It is arguable that uh, the bigger pixel size is more suited for deep sky observation uh, versus uh, the smaller pixel is more suitable for planetary observation. But uh, with a, uh, an aperture of 24 millimeter and a focal length of 100 millimeters, uh, Dwarf 2 is all but uh, useless when it comes to planetary observation, except that it gives incredibly good images of the moon uh, Dwarf 2 is uh, uh, the only device that I have used, the only instrument that actually shows the brownish and the bluish on the moon, uh, thanks to the extremely high resolution and the very, very small pixel size. 
pixel depth, uh, 8, 10, and 12 bits for the dwarf 2, 8, 12 bits uh, for the C star, uh, fairly similar. So the big differences here uh, are the focal lengths, uh, the aperture, twice as much light gathering in the C star than you get with the dwarf, and uh, the sensor resolution. Dwarf 2 has four times as many pixels as the C star, uh, but uh, the C star has much larger pixels as a result, twice as big, obviously. Uh, where do we go from here? I placed my order. Uh, it is a pre-order, obviously, with an availability of mid-July. And as soon as I get it, uh, you can count on a detailed side-by-side -side comparison of the performance of the Dwarf 2 to that of the Zoo C-Star S50. So stay tuned. And uh, this is exciting time. These are exciting times for... Uh, astronomy and astronomers, uh, Dwarf 2 and the C-Star S50, the entry level of just under $400 is an incredible opportunity to get into uh, observing, observing the skies, observing the heavens. So long from the Rooster Inn.